The mountain hare is the natural prey of the golden eagle. Also known as blue hares, they're fast and agile, but on this Scottish estate the healthy population needs to be more wily than normal because Roy and his friends are here hunting. They're flying two golden eagles, a Benelli's eagle, two fairy tales and a goshawk. All will take in turns to fly the hares. But before we head off to a cloud-covered hill, the birds need to be dried off and weighed in. Yesterday it was a different story. Snow covered the tops around the glen and in the stunning scenery the birds punched through the air. Sometimes the hares win the day and sometimes the birds find their prey. With the snow gone and the cloud lifting, the falconers head up to the top of the moor. So what's the plan, Roy? Today is, is my main passion, um, and that's we're going to be flying the golden eagles on mountain hares. It's something that we've done for 20 years. Uh, we'll be taking my old boy out a little bit later on. That's my old eagle. Um, <laughs> 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 we'll be taking my old eagle out a little bit later on and he specialises in wasting up and going up onto the, the, uh, the updrafts on the side of the mountains and then stooping in at the hares. Because we've got the mist in we're going to start off with fist flights so we're going to be working the dogs through. We've also got another selection of birds to fly as well so we've got a couple of fruit tails out with us and we've got a Benelli's eagle as well so fingers crossed we should do quite well because there's a, a good number of hares here so yeah, I'm thoroughly looking forward to it. With the old boy out of harm's way, it's time for everyone to work the hill. The falconer with the chance to slip their bird stands higher. The beaters shout hair if one runs. Sometimes the dogs will hold point, like Boo here. Otherwise it's all systems go when the hair breaks cover. No flight is the same. The hare sometimes finds cover or a hole to escape the talons, but all the birds are flying well. It's really interesting because you come up to a, a highland estate and you find the, the blue hares up here. And they've definitely got a few more manoeuvres where they're being hunted by wild goldies. That, that's my excuse anyway. Um, whereas if you go on to some estates that haven't got the goldies predating on them so much, yeah, they are a bit easier. The first hare of the day falls to Baby, Roy's youngest goldie. Oh, superb, well done mate. Oh, he's a good boy. So, oh, first one in the bag for today. We won't give him too much on this hare because we're hopefully going to catch a few or get a few more in the bag. We're not going to be able to feed all the people in the lodge with what we've got, so... Hopefully some of the other guys will be getting a bit more success as well. There you go. So we'll just give them a little bit of lung. Just got to get the chick out. And then trade up. There you go, boy. Excellent. I'm just hoping this weather is going to clear. Because if it does, we are in an absolutely... A nominal place. We've got a massive bowl here and we've got some really nice big banks of heather. And if we can get the eagles up and waiting on, it really is just breathtaking. It gets the hairs standing up on the back of my neck every time, even after 20 years. Roy's old boy Cappy hunts in a different way, waiting on. The weather isn't going to clear sufficiently today, but Roy explains his technique of dropping like a stone and throwing in a dummy move before striking. Really the eagle just learns that when he's working with you, you're going to be putting the hairs up so he'll follow you and sometimes I can have him up there for half an hour, sometimes longer, and he'll follow a ridge line along as long as he's got the wind in his favour. 
and he'll be up there just waiting for us to flush hares, waiting for us to flush the hares or waiting for the dogs to flush the hares. When the hares are away, then we shout, the shout is given and the eagles come stooping down. Because Cappy's been doing it for just over 20 years now, he's obviously mastered the technique very well. And where you'll get a young eagle coming in, all guns blazing, with a, a complete teardrop all the way to the ground, gunning into the ground, very often missing the hair. What he'll do is he'll, he'll come stooping in, very often he'll put in a dummy pass, and with the wind he'll flick up again. The hare thinks that the danger has passed and then chooses his path to run, continuing up the hill. And then Cappy will just reposition himself and uh, normally administer the coup de grace quite quickly. The, the one thing that you've got to have with an eagle when they're waiting on is a, a very good recall. Obviously we're flying in areas where there may be wild golden eagles passing over and a wild golden eagle will try and push your eagle out of their territory. So it's just a, a shout and uh, down he'll come to the fist. Back to our moor and Sean Spinelli's misses a sitter. It is a bit unfair, but the hare is either asking for trouble or is confident it can avoid the incoming danger. The last successful flight of the day is Roy's fairy tale, flown by James. Incredible mid-air acrobatics means it recovers and strikes the hare. Looks like there will be food on the table this evening. Back at the ranch, the old boy, Cappy, gets his grub. Unfortunately, the old chap didn't get a chance to come out, so we'll have to just bowl feed him for the, uh, the evening. I hope we've got better weather tomorrow. Now, unfortunately, because we had the fog and mist in, well, proper scotch mist in today, um, there's no way we could have him waiting on and going up because uh, they do get disorientated in that sort of environment. So we'll have to beat one for another day. Fingers crossed. God, the gods will look down on us and give us some good weather, and we'll uh, we'll get some nice sunny afternoons and some good winds. Roy has enjoyed an incredible few days in the Angus Glens. Good company, good hair numbers, and good sport. <laughs>